last time on our 4,000 km overland trip. We checked out Austria's largest glacier, crossed one of the highest mountain passes in the Alps, the Grossglockner, popped into Germany for lunch and headed south through Switzerland. Arriving at the beautiful Lake Garda back in Italy. After a hefty 600 km drive through the back roads of the Swiss Alps, we arrived at the town of Bardonecchia. Hey guys, so we're in the uh, beautiful Susa Valley in northern Italy, and uh, we're in a really amazing location which has loads of um, famous old military roads which are uh, untarmacked, so they're off road. They go up to around nearly 3,000 meters. Um, and we're going to spend the next few days here exploring and uh, seeing what we find. It took us a few days to get here. Um, nothing exciting, just cross country um, on all the back roads because we, uh, with this type of vehicle, can't really go on the motorway. So. We've got the main thing I care about right here. <laughs> I could do with another one to be honest. This is my mum. <laughs> Definitely some... Partner in crime. <laughs> is my dad. On holiday in the Alps, Maria's parents joined us for a few days to explore. The plan for the first day was to check out some of the super easy lower trails around the bottom of the valley. Highlights of the area include many 19th century forts as well as the 876 metre long Segaret tunnel built to supply ammunition. So we're about to go into one of the unlit tunnels. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I don't think it'll be bad. After a little exploring, it was time to return to the hotel and prepare for the next day, climbing the Col de Sommelier. The Col de Sommelier is a 27.5 km off-road route that climbs from the town of Badenecchia to near the summit of the Sommelier mountain on the border of France. So we're in Badenecchia in northern Italy. Today should be a bit of a highlight of the trip as we get to travel up one of the highest uh, off-road tracks in Europe. Well, it is the highest off-road track, uh, to an altitude of 3,000 metres. So, um, weather's amazing, a little cool, but sun forecast all day. Uh, might find some snow up on the top, so uh, come with us and uh, should be a good day. So, first job of the day is to fill her up. We've got plenty of petrol, we don't know how long we'll be up. We've got 10.6 gallons of fuel uh, capacity, so easily enough for all day. Have a sunny day today. Much happier about it. There's some 
So for these uh, type of off-road tracks in uh, Northern Europe, usually they're a toll. So they have a little uh, booth and you pay some cash. In this case, uh, the sommelier is eight euros, which is not a lot really um, in terms of how much fun you get out of it. And uh, that, that just, I, I think they use that to keep it open and uh, um, fix all the snow damage uh, before they open it for spring. But uh, most of these are old military roads uh, that were created in the late 19th century in the First World War. Um, so they technically are highways in Italy, um, even though they're gravel. Um, and so that's how we get to use them. So should be exciting. Italian flag, the mountains ahead of us. Let's go. Lush green forest parted ways to reveal astounding snowy peaks towering up to 2,000 meters above us. Something you don't see every day. <laughs> <laughs> what are you up to there? Someone feeling the cold. Really cold. It does look warm, but yeah, it's a bit chilly. Just need a few more degrees. It's snack time. Fact time consists of a, a Snickers and a psychic energy drink. It's not Red Bull, it's like a knockoff, a cheap knockoff. Couldn't get the good stuff. It's actually pretty good. Oh. Still climbing. The mountains are just crazy. Definitely above the tree line now. Um, getting way more barren. I mean, so far, the trail is super easy, it's super nice, it's just like a rally stage. So far the villain's been amazing. It's way overbuilt for this kind of thing, really.
of the snack time. This time an incredibly cold fizzy orange. Oh, it's so cold. <laughs> oh, right it's so good though. I'm going for the uh, standard travel food of the baby bell, pre-wrapped. Find this Italian beverage. You can get a whole baby bell, you know. Of course I can, I don't want to. That's absolutely exactly. Right at time. So, somewhere around 2,500, 2,600 metres, maybe a bit higher. The actual plateau, which is up there, um, is 2,776 metres. So we've got a little bit to go yet. It's definitely cold. There is some snow on the ground, but the weather's, the weather's perfect for the fact that we're in um, uh, late September. Scorch on names in the dirt They're calling us, calling us in Can you hear it? Can you hear it? At the end of the world, where will we be? Belgium. Originally yeah. we were from Belgium. Oh, yeah. awesome. Antwerp region. So yeah. yeah. And you so you've come all the way in this Yeah, yeah. No, we came doing some off-roads uh, yeah. we left yesterday here. and then now uh, this is the top of the Alps. Uh, yeah, with this, the yes. car, so, uh, this is what we wanted to do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <amazing>. oh, <laughs> to test it, to test the car a bit. It's an old car, yeah. 20 years old, so we wanted to test it a bit. It's but it's doing it's doing well. Yeah. <laughs> doing its round. Yes. Yeah, it? And yeah, it got yeah. up here okay? Yeah, yeah of course. It was fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so, we're only halfway, we've got to, we've got to go downstairs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we've, we've got to get home, yeah. <laughs> it's really good fun. It's nice to drive as well because you go over like just, when I, I see massive ditches and huge boulders and I'm like, oh, I'm going to die. But it just goes over everything, like you don't even feel it. It's like a tank. You don't need the aircon today. Oh no. <laughs> when we first set off from Italy, we were in t-shirts and these were going. Okay. And I was like, oh God, we're going to be just way too hot in this thing. I'm like, I could do with another blanket. We came up these hours. Because we're staying somewhere in the, with our uh, roof tent, so. Yeah, we're gonna go down a bit to have some uh, warmer weather. Yeah, get night. some degrees. Yeah, that's some more, <laughs> I, mean, I think it will be freezing tonight here. Yeah. Sure. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, will you go right to the bottom? Yeah. Uh, maybe we make a stop to eat something. Uh, you know. It's a long drive. Yeah, it's a long drive. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Have fun. No problem. Yeah. 
So we've made it to the top of the Col Sommelier, underneath the Sommelier mountain. Just over 2,700 metres. Uh, it's pretty cold. There's been some snow on the ground. Getting a bit late now, about 3 p.m. So we need to get back down, but the views are absolutely spectacular. Uh, Maria's choosing not to get out of the vehicle because she's got uh, three blankets for uh, two pairs of gloves and uh, as many jackets as she can fit on to try and survive. So um, that's it. So back down, hopefully go get a hot meal and uh, think about how cool this place was. Join us next time to explore more off-road trails in the Southern Alps. Thanks for watching.